ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Matt's Cigars and Whiskey. This is a different video to what I'd normally do. Normally I'm doing reviews and things like that. In this video, I am making a cocktail, a whiskey cocktail. Now, this cocktail is one which I have obviously, you know, read about, I've tried. I've wanted to release this video for a while, but I've never actually got around to doing it. And this video contains two of my favorite drinks in the world. Obviously you have whiskey. And even though I'm not Scottish, I am a massive Iron Brew fan. Always have been ever since I was little. I don't know what it is that attracts me to Iron Brew, but that's just something I can just drink time and time again. Got to be full sugar. The sugar-free Iron Brew, just it just it that just tastes absolutely awful if you ask me. But yes, this cocktail, it is the Iron Monkey. You can find it on the internet. Um, obviously, I am blue, monkey, monkey shoulder. I don't know if you can put monkey shoulder with it, but I'm not going to put monkey shoulder with this. I am going to be putting good old space side, Tam the Vullum, double cask. To me, that's a solid blending type whiskey, if ever there is going to be. And I've got ice cubes as well. Now, this is going to be something... Like I say, it's different. I'm hoping that people actually enjoy watching this and give it a go, uh, see if you can make it yourself because it does turn out an absolutely beautiful drink. And I'm not going to lie to you, this is a mega easy cocktail. You got ice cube, ice cube in the glass, whiskey, fish bash bosh. You don't want to put, well, say you don't want to put too much whiskey in. Put as much as you want. You know, whiskey is there to be drunk. Put as much whiskey as you want. Obviously, it looks a lot in there, but that is the displacement of the ice cube into the whiskey. There's not really that much whiskey in there, he says. Might be, but then we hide him the iron brew. Oh, beautiful iron brew. So refreshing. In my eyes, it's always best to put the whiskey in first if you're adding the iron brew. Add the iron brew in second mainly just because it mixes, you know? You want the alcohol to be mixed, so you put the alcohol in first and then put the mixer in afterwards, like your iron brew or whatever it is like that, just because then, it, you know, it mixes it better. Um, if you have your iron brew first and you pour your whiskey in first, to me, that's not going to be mixed as well as it could be like it is with this. Right, so that was so easy. See what I mean? Ice cube, whiskey, iron brew. Oh, that is an absolutely stunning drink. It really is. You've got the iron brew, but it depends what sort of whiskey you get. I can't really give you tasting notes of this because it depends what whiskey you put with it. Obviously, I've got a space side in there, the double cask. There's a lot of caramel. There's a lot of vanilla in there. The iron brew opens up quite a lot of flavors. Obviously, the iron brew with the fruitiness of that, it's going to add a lot of fruitiness to it. But... That is the ultimate whiskey summer cocktail. Don't care what anyone says. That is an absolutely beautiful summer evening cocktail. Whether you're you know, out with your friends. I haven't really ever seen this, to be honest with you, in a lot of bars. Um, a lot of bars don't, in England don't really have iron brew for sale either. So whether they make it or not, if they had some cans behind the counter, you could always ask them. Um, probably charge you the same as an old fashioned maybe or something like that. But it is absolutely delicious. Leave it a minute or two once you pour it. It's always better once the ice gets within it and it cools it down. Oh, lovely. That really, really is a fantastic cocktail for the summer. Like I say, I'll reiterate how to make it. You get ice cube, pour some whiskey in, iron brew over the top. It's that easy. Give it a little mix. And you've got an amazing, fantastic summer cocktail to taste, to try. It's lovely. It's delicious. A lot of people, you know, I think if you pulled these out, if you had these, if you had a party or a barbecue going on and you made everybody there one of these who likes to drink, 
I'm pretty sure, even though it's got whiskey in it, a lot of people turn around and say, oh, I don't like whiskey. They would drink this. Trust me, it would. it is a cocktail in my eyes that's accessible to all. Everyone's palates will enjoy it. Everyone will love it. Right, anyway, that's my first cocktail making video on the channel done. If you want to see more, then let me know. If you're not yet a subscriber, please, if you got this far, hit subscribe, give the video a like. It helps the channel to grow, helps me to reach a wider audience. And yeah, like I say, if you want to see more uh, cocktail making videos on here, let me know. I'm now going to go and sit down and chill with this. I'm going to see if Ipswich Town can overtake Leeds in the championship. So go to second place. Let's hope. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, like I say, thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next review. Slanger.